guys, it's Charette and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little sit down video. I'm gonna be showing you guys the supplies you need to start your own bow business. I feel like this video would have been really good for me to watch before I started because then you could save a lot of money because you just need to buy what you need. You don't need to buy like any extras and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you're going to need to even just get it started basically. If you are interested in this video, then keep on watching. So the first item I have on my list is going to be an essential. So you're going to need a sewing machine. So this is kind of like self-explanatory. Um, good quality bows will be sewn by the sewing machine. Hand sewing can be very difficult and not precise. So with the sewing machine, you'll be able to get like all the stitching to fit nice, it's not gonna come apart, things like that. So I bought my sewing machine like a long time ago, beginning of like quarantine time, so March. When did quarantine start? I think I've had this sewing machine for about a year, so I didn't know anything about sewing machines when I first bought this one. Um, it's a very, it's the Singer brand and it's like a beginner version. I'm gonna link it in the description box below if I could find it. I believe it was about $100. Um, sewing machines can get very, very expensive. There's some really good sewing machines out there, but I obviously didn't know what I was doing and I wanted just like a really basic one so I could learn how to use one. So this one's really easy. I know how to use it. I know how to use all the little things and yeah, this one's a really nice one. Perfect for beginners and yeah, I like this one. So this what this look like, it's pretty small. And then it has the little, what's it called, the stepping pedal to like stitch your stuff. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna need, this is gonna be like all out of order but I'll try my best. <laughs> So the next thing you're gonna need is a cutting board. So this is gonna be for you to cut your fabric on. You do not want to cut on your table. You want to cut on anything because it will damage your table. Unless you're just using scissors. But another thing I'm gonna show you that's way easier than the scissors. Um, yeah, so you're gonna need one of these. I believe I got mine from Walmart. They have a lot of sewing supplies at Walmart for very inexpensive. And yeah, these mats could get pretty pricey too because they have pretty big ones. They have they have a lot of different like options you could choose from. This is the one that I went with. It's a decent size. It lets me cut my fabric. Um, yeah, I don't think I well, I would like something bigger when I was making my like swaddles, but for the bows, this is like fine. It's perfect. It works. And I've been using that. And then for like your cutting utensils, you're definitely gonna need some good fabric scissors. So it's nice to have good quality of these to cut your fabric really well. Otherwise you're gonna be struggling cutting your fabric. Cause girl, fabric with regular scissors, you would not be able to cut fabric. You need like specifically fabric scissors. But the next item that I use all the time is this rotary cutter blade. So this is like a lifesaver. You literally cut it right on the mat and it gives you like the perfect like straight line rather than sometimes with the scissors it's hard to get exactly like a straight line. So with this blade you could get a really nice crisp straight line. Um, make sure this one that I got is pretty cheap so I feel like I wouldn't recommend it. I mean it does the job what I need to get done, but I would like a sharper one. I don't know if you have to replace them or replace the blade every so often, but I've had this for about a year probably when I first started, and it doesn't cut as good as I would like, so I would probably invest in a little more like expensive one because the blade probably will last longer, the blade is probably sharper, things like that, but this one, I think I got this one at Walmart as well. Um, yeah, they have a lot of different colors, styles, um, they have different sizes and things like that. This size works well for me. Bows, they're not too like heavy, like you're not using too heavy a fabric, but it would be nice to have like a good quality one so it's sharper to cut like your fabric so you're not like going over 
certain spots so sometimes I will cut and it won't cut like it all the way through so I have to sometimes go over a few more times so I would want to invest in a better one than that one but that's the one I use now so that's why I'm showing you guys that one and yeah so the next thing you're definitely gonna need is some hold on I was using this wet bag some stretchy fabric so this is jersey knit fabric I believe um, you want something with some spandex in it, something that's going to stretch, especially if you're doing the baby bow headbands because you do want those to be stretchy for the baby's head. You want those to be like a soft material because you are working with your clientele is basically babies, so you obviously don't want a rough bow on their head. So I would suggest like the jersey knit. There's like something with spandex in it. There's cotton fabric that has some spandex in it, but I always like to go in the store and actually like feel it, stretch it, see if it's gonna work for what I'm trying to do. Um, ribbed knit fabric is really good. That's what I really like. I believe they have some waffle knit as well. I do, don't quote me on that because I haven't worked with the waffle knit, but I really, really want to. But that fabric is super cute good texture and it's stretchy so I think the jersey knit is probably the best like stretch wise see how stretchy that one is so stretchy so you're gonna need lots of different fabrics especially if you're going to be selling the bows if you're making them for your child you obviously kind of probably want to have different patterns and different shape I mean different shapes um, you might want different colors, different fabrics, different different styles, basically. So, yeah, I have a lot of different, like, fabrics that I work with. And, yeah, you want to have a variety of different fabrics. So make sure you're choosing fabrics that you really like and you really see for, like, your business. Like, make sure you have, like, a color scheme going on or even have nice like collections come out every so often like you can use any color you want but like collections are always eye pleasing to your customers and yeah you want to have like a theme going on basically so so if you want to make clip bows you want to make nylon headbands you want to make the wrap bows um there's a lot of like different style of bows you could use so if you want to do clip bows, I suggest getting clips from Amazon. These are the ones that I use. They're just these flat clips and they work perfect for my mini clip bows. Um, these won't work for like bigger bows, I believe. I think you would need bigger clips just so it doesn't like fall. But those ones work perfect for my mini small bows that I have and they work really well haven't had any problems with them so those are really good and then if you want to do nylon bow headbands there is nylon you could buy from amazon i'm going to try to link everything that i am mentioning in this video down below if it's not linked that means i couldn't find it but a majority of everything should be linked so these i bought from amazon these are literally um, just nylon cut in like little strips for you to make little headbands. Um, you could also even, if you have like, if you're making them for like your baby, um, you literally could cut a panty, what is it called? Pantyhose? You could literally cut a pantyhose and cut them in little strips and then stretch it out a little bit and it should roll up. I mean, that's like... A way you could also get these nylon strips um, I used to do that when I first started my business just to like test everything before I had these ones that I bought um, yeah they have different colors you could like, choose from you could match the color of your fabric you could do neutrals whatever you feel so yeah those ones perfect for my business and I love them um, the next item I think that you need is a very essential, especially if you are selling your bows. Um, you're going to need like display cards to display your bows. Um, I feel like it just looks way more professional when you actually have display cards rather than just laying out your bows like on the table or, or whatever. However, but like for instance, I use these little, so these are like photo cards. 
Um, it's literally like a four by six um, photo card and I cut it in half to make these. So these fit perfectly. I'll show you guys a little example. So these fit perfectly for my nylon bow headbands. Um, yeah, usually I will, if it if they're sold by, um, if you buy like just one, they will, they will come like this. Or I will just use, like if you buy multiple of the same bow, um, I will just use like this one and I will place like all the bows on the card and place it in a little plastic wrap. But that's just depending on how many bows you're buying. Because I also use these ones as photos, like photo prop basically. So you could actually see the bows. It's in a white background. You could see it. Everything is nice. So yeah, that's what I do for those bows. There's also display. I bought these ones on Amazon. So the story on Amazon, read the sizing and figure out how big because literally the first time I got a large thinking it was probably gonna be like this much of it but it ended up being this big. So I have these big display cards. They do have little holes right here so you could put clip bows. Sometimes I put clip bows on here for photos. It looks better. And then I'm trying to figure out what else I could use for these because I don't really use these ones. These ones are too big for the bows that I make. But if you're using like bigger headbands, they will work perfect for that. Um, but I also, the next time I ordered some small ones, which are really small. Um, these are the ones that I use for the clip bows. They work perfect for my clip ones. Show you in a little example. So I put two of the clip bows on it and that's how I sell them. Um, they fit perfectly and they just look so cute and compacted in a little small spot. So yeah. It's nice to have a little small, and they also have this little hook, so I'm able to hook it on my little display for pop-ups and everything. So these ones are actually, these ones came in handy, and I actually use these ones. So yeah, some little display cards. They have a lot of like different colors, different sizing, and things so you can match your business colors. I'm just going with plain white because I mean I feel like that's just a safer option to go until I figure out like my color scheme. I do like the neutrals, I do like the pinks. So I'm trying to like figure out if I wanna do like pink with brown or pink and nude or I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah, so you need some sort of display cards if you are planning to sell your bows. If you are just making bows for like yourself, for your, your baby, then obviously you don't need display cards because I mean you're making them for yourself you don't really need to display them so just cancel that step if you're making them for yourself okay oh I forgot to mention so the next item I feel like you need is thread so obviously you're gonna need thread for your sewing machine um, I used to match my thread to every fabric that I bought I would buy the matching like thread but I found, like, so obviously I didn't know much about sewing when I first started. So I found that there's this, what is it called? Invisible thread. So it's literally clear thread. It is harder to work with, but if you're, like, if you have good eyesight, you should be able to, be, like, you'll be fine. But, um, yeah, so I work with this invisible thread. It matches with every thread. You can't see it. This thread is just, like, amazing. So now I just have to buy one color it's so difficult trying to buy every color of thread like for every <sighs> to match like every fabric that you have so i suggest getting the in invisible thread i mean i love it i work with it all the time and yeah it's great get you some of this invisible thread girl it's gonna save your life it's gonna save your life it's gonna save your money too so so this is the last thing that I suggest getting is these little plastic. This is for if you're going to sell your bows, obviously. I think this makes your bows, your business look like way more professional. 
um, to have little packaging for each bow. So for example, I put these in the little plastic wrap. I couldn't find, like these display cards are too big to fit these small little bows on. So I was like, what else can I do? And I came up with this idea to just put it in this little plastic wrap. So when someone buys it, it'll be plastic wrapped and they know that it's brand new basically. So I got these. I'm going to have to put the sizing that I got in the description box below, but I don't remember what size I got. But I'll definitely put them in the description box because it is so difficult trying to find the right size. Like I was struggling <laughs> trying to figure out what size I should get um, because they do have so many different sizes in this. And yeah, I was like struggling. So in this description box, I'll put what size I got so you guys could have an idea. So I think that is everything you're gonna need to like start your bow business. It's not very many items that you need. Like literally it's so easy to be able to start making bows. You need to do your research though and make sure that you are putting out good quality bows. Make sure you are testing out fabrics. You are like trying different sizes finding like the size and everything that you want for your business don't just like copy everyone else i say just trying to um, try to figure out like the sizing and everything um you could even buy like one fabric for like practice fabric get just like a cheapy fabric practice try sizes try different things and eventually you'll get like the look that you're going for so it took me a little bit to get my sizing and everything correct so um maybe in another video i will show you guys exactly like how i size and how i create actually like cut and size my bows um but for now i'm just showing you guys the supplies you need there's a lot of different youtube videos you could watch on how to actually create different bows and how to i don't know there's like different ways to sew the bows depending on what look you're going for there's like so many bows out there it's crazy so go with the one that you are liking um and eventually like you will create that like clientele of people that like those bows as well so yes that's just my little advice so i believe that is everything you would need to start your little bow business i hope you guys enjoyed today's video Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!